When I'm reading the script, how often do you guys actually pay the closing costs on your deals? Um, because like for the last couple, I was mentioning it and then I'm thinking, okay, this is sort of adding up, you know, just being someone that's not really like big time stable financially because of, you know, entering into it now, not too long ago under your guys' program. So how often does Ashley have to actually throw that in there to make that deal happen? Or is it sort of just not usually that that way? Well, whenever in any deal where the seller's not getting any cash at closing, mm -hmm. I think we almost always will just pay all the closing costs. But we don't pay that until we actually close. We're not like mm -hmm. paying a bunch of costs up front. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, if it's a deal where we're going to line up the buyer before we close, then okay, we don't realize the costs until the deal actually happens and we know we're going to get paid. Mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. does that make sense yeah yep cool yeah. so but even if if the deal doesn't close and we were talking about this on one of our other calls i think in the apprentice program it's like you're still going to have some out of pocket so like if you go ahead and order the title search mm -hmm. as soon as you get the deal under contract and then mm -hmm. the deal falls through you know they may send you a bill for that title search work that they did yeah they do. If you spend any money on marketing the property obviously mm -hmm. you're out that money so you know, all in, you're probably talking a few hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, in my opinion, my perspective is just a cost of doing business, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm fine with that. Um, how many deals per month are you guys currently turning, Ashley? Oh, so right now we're bringing in, well, we have, I think we have 10 sitting on our books right now. And over half of those were just from the last two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Now we'll see if they all go through. They don't always all go yeah. through. Yeah. Next week, like Blair and I talked about before, do you think it would be possible to put together the deal, couple, maybe two deals that you're currently working on and um, how, it's, how you locked it up from the start? And then if it got to the closing line, what was, what was the end result? Like, did you put the least purchase buyer in it? Mm -hmm. How long did it take? Uh, did you wait the 90 days? Just some, you know, from the beginning to the end facts, maybe on one or two deals, because as we sit here and we ask you guys questions, and that's a great opportunity for us. It's also, I think, nice, and I, maybe the people on the call would agree, that to see you guys, again, do it and, and maybe hear a couple calls of you talking to them, if we could get recorded calls of, of those deals that actually were successful, I think that'd be a great help to us, you know? So can we continue yeah. to do that method? I'm going to task Ashley with that. <laughs> <Since> <laughs> Task that, Ashley. Yeah. Uh, yeah well, I'll, I'll work with Brandy and get some calls recorded yeah, as far as those final office. meetings. Because really, the only time, it depends on where Brandy is, you know, because she's in the car a lot. So um, she doesn't get to record her calls as often. Um, so it, it's just a matter of, are we at a point where we can record that call? Um, so it'll be... I just posted a subject to closing call. I did. That was one I actually just did yesterday. Right. Um, and I happened to be at home while I was doing it. So mm -hmm. I recorded it on my better voice um, yeah. and then just spliced it together with that picture for that. Mm -hmm. Did you post that in the pipeline group? or No, but I will. Okay, yeah. Let's I can do that today, yeah. Yeah. And I, is Chris recording? He sh well, he should be. I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to find out. I don't know if they're using their better voice because if they're just using their cell phones, they don't have them recording um, unless they have some other recorder on there that I don't know about. Yeah. Um, so I'll, t I'll get with them. I know we have our meeting later today, so we'll, I'll, ch I'll check with them. Who's then. Chris? We'll see about uh, putting some, some actual details up about some of yeah. these. Yeah. So you can take a look at some of the deals that we and, and I know Brandy's just closed on a couple recently, so we'll, we can get some details and maybe just have her do a quick run through um yeah. recorded for us real quick yeah like maybe two from the start to the finish how you got it and then how long it took you to get that lease purchase buyer how much did they put down you know what was just the whole you know yeah whole thing. just like we know who did you say chris was you guys chris uh does what ashley and brandy do he also handles the purchasing side we there's three of three of us per three of them purchasing in fact, just to give you a sense of how uh, solid we are with this market and how dedicated we are, we just hired uh, one additional person Friday, um, a full-time dispositions agent, um, young lady out of uh, Ohio to sell all of our properties for us. So, you know, we'll have three, three buying and one full-time selling. 
Um, so we're stepping it up. We think there's more business out there and we're going to go get it all as much as we can. Thank <laughs> you.